Well, good morning, friends. We are out here, Lake Glenville, North Carolina. I don't fish this lake too much in the summertime, but like this time of year, I schedule all my doctor's appointments, dental appointments. I I do all this stuff now because it's hot and I just try to get it over with. But uh, haven't been able to fish a lot. Got a good trip last week on Nantahala. But we're out here today. We're gonna try to catch a few big ones. Um, giant bass in this place. I caught, I broke my PB swam out here twice in one day. I got a 20 and a, a 20 inch or a 20 and a half. No, a 21 inch and a 21 and a half. This is all documented um, on my YouTube channel. I think it's called uh, Making a Charge for the QC KBF Monthly. This was like the first lake I ever like came to to fish monthlies because uh, I knew there was big bass in it. And I learned an incredible bite because of that. So we're out here today trying to catch a few QC KBF out here trying to catch a few for the I League Monthly Challenge. So glad to be on the water i start getting i don't know i start getting like i fish all the time so i never really get that weird feeling when you can't fish and i started getting that weird feeling so i'm out here today hottest part of the day but this is a cooler area it was only 70 73 degrees which is nice but we're out here we're gonna catch a few we're gonna catch some big ones a lot of boat traffic on this lake this time of year i stay back in the creeks fishing in a real good creek so right by the boat ramp is like one of the best spots but i'll be checking back with you hopefully with some good ones need to get some culls i think my smallest fish is 15 and a half uh, some guys in the lead there not giant bags but uh solid bags for four fish so we're trying to catch some big ones we're trying to catch an old dandy an old big head a giant a behemoth a hydrilla gorilla a baby panda an ocean pony I'm still trying to find my cool name for a big bass, but but that's it, and I'll be checking back later. Got a cull. That's a freaking good one. It's not a giant, but he might go 17-ish. He's a post-spawn big time here. These fish get a lot of pressure. <clears throat> Smash that fluke. Smash that fluke. They're definitely starting to get back in their summer pattern a little bit. <clears throat> Hold him up to the camera. Let me get a picture of some blood everywhere. I don't want to give the judges any excuses. What do we got here? We got a cull. It's not a giant. It's not a giant. Maybe 16 and a half, maybe. 16 and a half. Let me get a better picture. <clears throat> QC KBF has a high standard for picture taking. It's just on it. That's a freaking line burner if I've ever seen one. Stay. I got, I got a picture. I ain't worried about it. You let him go. You let himself go. <clears throat> this board is nasty. Check that picture. Ooh, I just got a kicker. I just got a big, 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 big. This one might be 18. Might be 18. I'm gonna measure him down in the boat. I'm not even gonna play. He's long too. Oh, and the hook fell out. Look at that. Look at that. Safety net. What the heck? myself whatever you win watch the struggle watch the struggle Okay, let's see. Oh yes, that is a good head. That is an old good head. <clears throat> I have my gloves on. Position this down. 
down, down, down. Nineteen inches. Nineteen inches. Nineteen inches. All right, 19 inches. Let's see if I can get a little better picture, a little nicer picture. All right, we got this sucker. Yes, 19 inches. Let me get a gratuitous. Let's do a native watercraft slayer. The most collectible kayak known to humanity. These things are going for 1200 bucks. Well, we're out here day two on Lake Glenville. I'll keep this quick, but we're out here. We're going to catch some big bass. I caught one 19 incher yesterday, 16 and a half. Broke a big one off. But uh, I was fishing like really shallow. And uh, I kind of I'll, I'll start doing that again. I fish in the shade lines when the sun comes up. But there's a place out here where they're busting, but uh, it's really foggy. So I'm just like staying real close to the staying real close to the uh, bank so I don't get run over. I don't hear any boats out here, but they're out here. And uh, so when the fog burns off, when uh, the boats come out, I'll go back in the creek and do what I did yesterday because I didn't get on the water till like 10:30, 10:45. But I'll be checking back for you, hopefully with a big one. Caught a good one. Probably another 19 inch. Or, this is fat. Fat. Nice. Oh my god. Stud. What a stud of a bass. I bet that thing weighs five pounds. It's gotta weigh five pounds. <coughs> Turn this podcast off. Luke Duncan. Sorry. Sorry, podcast. It's kind of competitive, but it's good. Whew. Come on now. Let's get the routine. Let's get a good picture of this guy. Pour it out. right here Let's see what we got Let's see what we got oh my god it's got so freaking studly it's not gonna make 18 good gosh hold him some more this oh my god this guy plus a jaw This is a slimy one. Don't cover the eye. Holy shit. God. Holy shit. Come on. That picture sucked. That picture sucked. I'm about to be all up in everything. <clears throat> this one is hot. Eighteen and a half. Ugh. Where did I go? Man, eighteen and a half. Slime the whole boat. Slime the phone. 
Every once in a while. Ooh. Gosh. That's a big one. There's a shad spawn going on here. I should have stayed here. I'm always made a bad decision. Going out to the island. Let's see if I got a good picture here. Yes, we have a good picture. 18 and a half all day on that one. Good cull. That's a good cull. My smallest one is 16 and a half. So that might make me tie for first. 16 and a half, 17 and a half, 18 and a half. It might be tied for first. Or in first by a quarter inch. Man, that fish was... That was an old big, big. Man, yesterday I got here, first cast with the fluke. I throw it in the, the rocks over here, this riprap. Right over here in this riprap, right? And it just get, it just falls in the riprap and it's like ding! Stays in there, it's not coming out. So I go over to it with my rod tip. I'm trying to like poke it out. I touch the rock and the rock just rolls over top of it. So I just get pissed off. I just like yank it, right? So the, the line snaps at the, only run on like a six foot leader. It snaps at the connection. So I retie it, you know, I'm like testing it. And I didn't really test it as good as I probably should have. And, uh, and man, dang if it didn't. I, I caught a, like a 16 and a half. I caught a, that 19 incher on that connection. And then um, I go back in this creek and, I, and there's like a scum line back here. I throw it on the scum line. I know I hook a big one. I see the whole scum line. Enjoy. I set the hook on it and the freaking line breaks at the connection. I knew it was a big one. <clears throat> but, yeah, they're biting. Man, that was a good one. I missed one earlier. I mean, I didn't, he didn't even know he was hooked until he got like three feet from the boat. But, <coughs> there's another good one. The only thing I can catch him on is the fluke. He might go 16 and 3 quarter. I don't know. I think my smallest fish is 17. Seventeen. Might go seventeen. Oh, I gotta go get rid of this wet ass towel. Oh, he's seventeen and a half. Seventeen and a half. That's a good one. I'll take it. It's a half inch call, I believe. Sneak up in here and catch another one. Oh, no, it's not Michael's brother. It's Michael. Crooked. Uh, he rode. 